you'll have to ignore me. I'm a mess. But Evie, she runs tonight for the MBJ State Show. Um, if you watch my previous video, she's a three-year-old who's taken the place of my really good 1D mare, who is out with an abscess. This is Rip. He has her half half sibling, same sire, different mama, but the mamas are half sisters, so they're half cousins. But anyhow, I have a few more things that I gotta load. Uh, I gotta load the beamer yet. I gotta brush her. I gotta get her food ready. Uh, gotta hook up the truck. Oh, and I gotta put the eggs in the trailer because we're gonna be cooking breakfast uh, tomorrow and Sunday, I believe. But anyway, <clears throat> let's go get her food ready. So all I feed is uh, beet pulp. I don't feed any grains, no concentrates whatsoever. Um, I know this <laughs> looks like a lot, but a lot of these items are for just in case. Um, I have magnesium here. If she needs it, I don't give it to her very often, um, just because if it seems like she's a little bit sore, I'll go ahead and give her some. Uh, this I was feeding to my other mare. She's using it up. She just gets half a scoop a day. This here is baking soda. I love this as an ulcer preventative. It's very cheap and it's incredibly effective. Um, again, she's using this up. She gets just a very little bit of that a day, but I switched her to Equinity. Um, I brought this just in case I run out of that. Uh, this is a really good probiotic for um, if you think your horse has gut issues. I really like it, especially if they colic. This will take it away uh, within like an hour, so that's really nice. Uh, and then of course, copper and zinc. They need this for hoof health and overall body health. In our area in Kentucky, we are really high in iron and magnese. And iron and magnese blocks the absorption of copper and zinc. Uh, so if your horse is struggling with like really thin hoof wall or uh, thin sole, um, <clears throat> then they are most likely, if you live in a really high iron magnese area, they're most likely lacking copper and zinc. So this is incredibly important for hoof health. You ready to go? All right, come on, darling. Yeah, look out. Hold on. <laughs> okay, eager beaver. There you go. All the way up. You got your hay up there. All right, we're going to go pick up your buddy here in a minute, okay? You're such a good girl. You get tarry spot. And of course, we couldn't forget a little cotton ball. <laughs> Aw, the hello puppy. Come on. Come on up. There you go. Say hi to Evie. Hey, thanks, off you did! <laughs> what? Can I... Oh. <laughs> Hang on! <laughs> Come on up, pretty boy. Come on. He's like, that's a big step. What do you think, Evie? You guys gonna get along? The only reason they're getting along is because they're redhead. No, I <laughs> Hi, kitty cat. You gotta get off. Oh, wait. I think Brooke said I am leading the train because she doesn't know where she's going. Here, so we got the horses set up. Uh, we got ourselves parked. I didn't record any of it because I, uh, well, we wanted to try to get everything unloaded and the horse taken care of and parked before our parking Scott, spot, Scott, spot got taken away. So cause there was already one other person here because uh, really, I really like it back here because you can kind of camp out. And it's a little more private. Uh, but after a little while, I'm going to finish my my uh, coffee and my apple. And then I'm going to go out and uh, ride Evie in the arena for a little bit. Paisley. The litter box is not for you to play in. It's for you to poop. My God.
Are you going back to back? She's doing pretty good. She's a little worked up, which I expected it, but she's starting to settle down, so. We just have the one run to make. Warm-ups didn't go exactly as I had hoped, but it was there. <laughs> as long as we got our, our uh, silliness out and uh, warm-ups, then we'll see how open goes, so. I guess I will see y'all in the run. Oh. Best wishes! I am so tired. I didn't record uh, feeding because I'm just, I'm exhausted. That and I did, I left my phone in the horse trailer. Uh, but yeah, I got her fed, uh, got her tucked away. She's good to go for the evening. I need to eat something. I did have a cinnamon roll, but that was not, that, that's not a really good meal. But yeah, I was in her head a little too much on that third, or not third, first barrel. Uh, she she snapped it a little tighter than I thought she was going to, and that kind of caught me off guard. Um, our approach to it was a little wider than I was hoping for, uh, but for her first run, I'm not gonna be too upset about it. I know she can do better, um, but for the ADHD mare that she is, it's just, you know, I, I'm not gonna complain too terribly much about it, so. Anyway, I gotta feed, Mwah. we gotta feed little baby here. She's ready for food. Then I'm gonna eat and then I'm gonna go to bed. So I will, oh, 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 oh. goodness. Uh. I will make more vlogs later. So good night.